Thomasina. What is this? Who are you? I'm the one that saved your father. What do you mean? You were here 25 years ago. My father? You were deep down with the others. You were there and something went wrong. I dragged him out. Impossible. I helped him then and I can help him again. I, I don't understand. Believe my words. You'll find proof in morning. Now go. One more thing. This is not a dream. Goodness, that was a terrible sleep. What's this? There's a strange stone strapped to the cover. It appears to be a journal, full of hogwash. I don't recognize the handwriting. Maybe Stanley knows more about it. Good morning. How's your head, Miss Bateman? That was quite the tune you treated us to last night. To be honest, Stanley, I felt better. I take it you slid this journal under my door? I beg your pardon? The journal, Stanley. I certainly did no such thing. Nor could have anyone else. You're the only guest staying here. What's the meaning of all this? Do you propose that it manifested itself out of thin air? Well, uh... Objects do not appear from nowhere. You must have put it there. Miss Bateman, I've never even seen this book before. I'm sorry. 
I just don't understand how else it could have got there. Are you sure there was no one else here overnight? Without doubt. How very, very peculiar. So, what does it say inside? Take a look. Well, I can't make head nor tail of it. Neither can I. Maybe someone else in the village can help you with it. What do you make of this stone? That's a funny looking thing. It's got a cockerel on it. Yes, but have you seen anything like it? Never. Do you ever have strange dreams, Stanley? Me? I sleep as sound as a baby. I had one such dream last night. It was so vivid. What were it about? I was at Hobbs Barrow. Oh? But everything was different. Great peaks soared in the distance. And there was a creature. A creature, you say? Yes, a short, robed fellow, eyes as black as pitch. It told me that my father had been there in Hobbs Barrow many years ago, but something went wrong and the creature helped him escape. It said that I would find proof in the morning. Oh, the journal. You've had a premonition, lass. Please, Stanley, I've no time for that nonsense. But I'll admit it's a strange coincidence. Now, what did I tell you about Hobbs Barrow? That I should leave it alone? Aye. Hogwash. Your dream reminds me of a story from my childhood. An old folk tale about Hobbs Barrow. What is this folk tale you mention? Well, when I were a wee boy, there were talk of a goblin. They say he lived inside Hobbs Barrow, hence the name Hobbs Barrow. Hob, coming from Hob Goblin, of course. Unfortunately, I don't remember anything else about it. I was told not to believe in such fairy tales, Stanley. Don't close your mind to such things, lass. I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you more. Perhaps, if I ever meet him. Goodbye. See you soon. Good morning, Mr. Kemp. Good day, Miss Tompkins. I'm here for his Lordship's paper. Sorry, lass. Mr. Pryor hasn't dropped them off this morning. I heard he actually left the village yesterday. Indeed. I can vouch for that. Ma'am? Good day. Oh, dear. His Lordship won't be pleased. My sincerest apologies, Miss Tompkins. I'll come back in a few days. Ta-ra. Goodbye. Who is Miss Tompkins? A housemaid in the employ of Panswick Manor. She comes by to pick up his Lordship's weekly paper. I'm surprised newspapers are available in Bewley. Aye, his Lordship gets what he wants. Lord Panswick likes to keep up with affairs from outside of Bewley. Aye, he has many interests around the country. What sort of interests? His Lordship's affairs are his own business. Goodbye. See you soon. Goodness me, I can't budge it. Be careful, Miss Bateman. You'll cut yourself. I spent all morning trying to get that bloody thing out. I shall be having words with that scoundrel next time he shows his face. <sighs> Curses. We have our very own Excalibur. It's all yours if you can pull it out, King Arthur. <laughs> I do not wish to damage Mr. Kemp's table any further than it already has been. Right, I need to convince Mr. Bryden to let me excavate Hobbs Barrow and find out where this journal came from.
Good day. I'm still setting up my stall. Come back later. Oh, I'm sorry. The bucket is rusty and full of holes. Good morning, Father Roach. Ah, Miss Bateman. What a pleasure to see you again. Have you tracked down Mr. Shoulder yet? Don't get me started. I'll take that as a no. Indeed. Do you recognize this journal? Hmm, what a tatty old thing. You ought to take better care of your possessions, Miss Bateman. It's not mine. Then whose is it? That's precisely what I'm trying to find out. I'm afraid I can't help you. I haven't seen it before. What do you make of this stone? Hmm. I don't recognize the symbol from any Christian iconography. Did you make it yourself? No, never mind. What brings you to the square today? I'm meeting a couple of young congregation members to go over some scripture. You're welcome to join us. Thank you, Father Roach, but I have quite a busy day ahead of me. We will be at St. Edmund's, should you wish to join us later. What do you know of Lord Panswick? Oh, yes. A rather important fellow around here. His vast land holdings give many a steady employment. I hear he is renovating an old chapel on his land. Aye, I've heard such reports. He believes this to be a godless land. Something I wholeheartedly disagree with. To which god his chapel will be dedicated to remains a matter of concern. Why do you say that? Oh, my apologies. Don't listen to my oafish conjecture. Let us move on. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. Mr. Long mustn't be in. It's locked. Hello, Wally. Go away! You gave the door back to my sister. It wasn't very nice of you to bury her favourite toy, Wally. I gave it to the fair folk, and you stole it back from them! You don't really believe in fairies, do you? You're old enough to know better. They're real, and thanks to you, I'm cursed! There's no such thing as curses either, Wally. Go away! Hello? Is anyone home?
Mr. Bryden doesn't seem to be here right now. I should come back a bit later. This is not mine to take. No, that won't work. In good time. Thomasina! Good morning, Arthur. You look a bit addled. Are you feeling all right? I am not used to drinking as much as we did. Aye. My head is pounding. To tell you the truth, Arthur, I've had a somewhat puzzling morning. Oh? Someone slipped this journal under the door of my room. Whose journal is it? I have no idea. The text refers to some sort of excavation. Well, Stanley must be playing tricks on you. He swore his innocence. I thought perhaps you might have done it? No, it wasn't me. That's for certain. Somehow I have a clear memory of last night. I wonder who left me this journal then? Mind if I take a closer look? Please, go ahead. of a madman. I don't disagree. Do the sketches mean anything to you? No, not at all. But they turn me stomach. You might want to show this to Mother Mildred. Who is Mother Mildred? Some think her a witch. A witch? Aye. She might be able to help you with the symbols. Where can I find her? She lives alone in a little cottage within Hearn Wood here. You shouldn't have too much trouble finding her. Thanks, Arthur. You're welcome. What do you make of this stone? It's a good shape for skimming across water. What is it? I'm not sure. It was strapped to the cover of the journal. How mysterious. I had a splendid time last night. Aye. I even remember most of it this time. Thanks for listening to me going on. I really appreciate it. The feeling is mutual. Thank you too, Arthur. Shouldn't you be manning the station? The line is down. Track damage between Bewley and Bakewell. No trains for a day or more. Does that mean I'm stranded here? For the time being, Thomasina. Capital. Why do people think Mother Mildred is a witch? Just because a woman lives alone in the woods doesn't mean she flies about on a broomstick. There's more to it than that. They say she lays with demons. Who are they? Oh, you know, local folk. Hogwash. Some also go to her for potions and spells. Spells? Come now, Arthur. Truth be told, she's a nice old lady. I sometimes see her foraging in the brambles around here. Will she burn at the stake sometime soon? You might think us backward in Beulah, Thomasina. 
But we're not that backward. Sorry, Arthur. I only meant to tease. Goodbye. Tara. Hello, dear. Good day. I believe we've met. Miss Thomasina Bateman, the famous antiquarian. My reputation precedes me. I can assure you it does. And you are? James. Are you a painter? You see this beck before you. Look at the water. See how it tumbles and falls. I seek one spot on which my eyes can rest. Be it a stone or a small corner of the cult, I meet it with my gaze, and out of the tumbling and falling, a new land rises. I see a new world. You certainly have the eloquence of an artist. What are you painting? A new world. Quite the ambition. Indeed, my ambition knows no bounds. Can I see it? Not yet. It's not finished. Such a world is not complete without you in it. You've flattered me, James. Nonsense. Say you'll let me paint you. Why not? Magnificent. You shall be the shining star of my new world. I don't really have the time now, though. Perhaps later? Don't fret, my dear. When the time comes, I shall call on thee. Capital. Do you recognize this journal? A place to keep one's thoughts and reflect. Is it yours? No, my dear. What do you make of this stone? It looks antique. You might want to keep a hold of it. Do you know of Hobbs Barrow? I'd like to know more about you, Thomasina. What time do you like to rise in the morning? How do you like your tea? What makes you happy? Well, I like to rise early and watch the sunrise. With your husband, I'm sure. No, I'm currently unentangled. Such a view should be shared with at least a lover. Do you deem yourself fit for this position? Indubitably. But do go on. How do you like your tea? Hot, with just a splash of milk. No sugar, of course. No sugar. It rots the teeth. Your smile is as dazzling as the Himalayan snow. Oh, James. And finally, what makes you happy? Spending time with my father. I should like to meet him. Perhaps you will. And you, James? I propose the same queries to you. All in good time. My truths will surround you in good time. Do you know Leonard Shoulder? A man of Bewley? Yes. I care not for the men of Bewley. Only for the visitors. What do you know of Lord Panswick? A fine gentleman. Now that is someone who commands respect. Do you know him personally? No, I, I don't think anyone can really claim that. But what a tiring subject. Shall we discuss something a little more exciting? Goodbye. See you soon, my dear. I don't think anyone is home.
the unmistakable charm of old Cyril.